I don't wanna go home Even if I'm always on my phone All these people I don't even know But I got nowhere to go I love to start my week off with HIT, so I decided to do Caroline's HIT full body workout on Monday. This workout included 60 different exercises with no repetition, which is so great because if there was repetition, then I feel like the workout would be a little bit too tedious, especially since this workout is 40 minutes long. There are so many reasons as to why I would recommend Caroline's workouts over others. One being, if you're looking for 30 to 1 hour long workout sessions, then Caroline would be great as her channel mainly centers around longer workouts. In terms of moves, the exercises are all very unique. Now I know I say this for almost every single workout I do, but I genuinely mean it for her. All the moves are so creative and they include a twist that makes the workout that much challenging. Now, for the most part, I do enjoy the music. However, I do want to say some songs are in my cup of tea, but again, it doesn't bother me because 90% of the time, all the songs she uses are energetic and keep me excited. Now, for level of enjoyment, I'm going to rate this particular workout a 9 out of 10, and for level of difficulty, I'm also going to give it a 9 out of 10. For breakfast, I had per usual yogurt fruit bowl with this made good granola, which I recently purchased. I added some almonds, some raisins, some mango, some frozen berries on the top, and I also added some flax seed and chia seeds. It was so delicious. As you guys know, my go-to breakfast. I have been wanting to make a salad bowl for such a long time, but school has definitely been in the way of that. But today I definitely had the time to do so, and it was so delicious. I added walnuts, a bunch of different vegetables, and I also added two hard-boiled eggs for some extra protein. You guys, this definitely is just so pretty, and it also tasted really good, so that's what counts. And then for dinner, I had some pumpkin, some broccoli, some fish, and some shrimp with noodles. And then for dessert, I had frozen blueberries. I don't want to go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. On Tuesday, I decided to do Caroline's 15-minute ab workout. And let me tell you, my abs were on fire after a minute in. At this point, I realize any Caroline workout is going to be advanced. Even a short ab workout will get you on the ground exhausted. Oh my gosh. Oh, my abs are on fire. Holy. Now, the moves weren't anything special, but you do each exercise for 40 seconds with no breaks. So despite the simplicity, it's still made for a good workout. Now for level of enjoyment, I'm gonna give this workout an eight out of 10. And for level of difficulty, I'm gonna rate it a six out of 10, mainly because I found this particular workout the easiest out of all the other workouts I'm doing in this video. Today's breakfast was avocado toast, grapes, and a mandarin, and while I was eating that, I was actually replying to some of your comments from my latest video, the Linda Sun video, which I posted last week. You guys, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do so. I made all of her famous delicious meals. And then for snack, I had this Quest bar from Costco while doing school. And then for lunch, my parents actually brought home this pretzel, so I ate that up and it was so delicious, so fresh. And then for dinner, I had this lemon chicken picado, which I'm pretty sure we got from Costco. And then I had it some pierogies on the side with some salad. And of course, for dessert, I had a Lindor and some carrot cake. I don't want to go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. It's Wednesday, and today I am doing Caroline's hamstrings and glute workouts with dumbbells and a band. I used two five-pound weights and my black resistance band that I got from Amazon. This workout is 48 minutes long, and it started with a glute activation, which helps warm up your glutes before you start using weights. This is definitely a workout on the less intense side. However, nonetheless, it still got me sweaty and pushed me far beyond my limits. Another reason why I love Caroline so much is how inclusive her channel is. She posts all kinds of workouts from beginner, intermediate, to advanced. Whether you're 
just starting your fitness journey or have been working out for quite some time, you'll find tons of variety and options on her channel. She has all kinds of workouts from low impact, no jumping, too intense, and exhilarating. So for level of enjoyment, I'm going to give this workout an 8 out of 10, and for level of difficulty, I'm going to rate this workout a 7 out of 10. For breakfast, I made overnight oats, and the toppings I used were bananas, blueberries, and grapes, and of course, I added a ton of peanut butter because you can't go wrong with lots of peanut butter. For snack, I had an RX bar, some apples, and also a lot of popcorners. Today's dinner was once again, pumpkin. I love pumpkin so much. It's so good. Fried pumpkin. And then I had, I had a burger, but instead of having um, a bun, I had lettuce. And it was actually so delicious. I was not expecting it to taste that good. It tasted really crunchy and it tasted really healthy. So yeah, that was that. I usually have it with a bun, but today I decided to mix it up and try it with lettuce. And then for dessert, I had some fruit and a little bit of yogurt. I don't wanna go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. Today, I decided to do another lower body workout, this time using my 20 pound barbell. Okay, you guys, it was 15 degrees outside. Only a couple days ago, we had snow on the ground and the weather just completely shifted from being snowy to just really warm. So I just had to do this workout on my deck in the fresh air. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love, look at me. I just fade when I hit the jack. Now this workout focused on mostly doing Bulgarian lunges, which not gonna lie, got pretty repetitive and boring. However, the upside to this workout is my legs were so sore after this and they haven't been for a long time, which shows just how effective this workout is. Now, as much as I hate repetition, Caroline says to embrace it as repetition helps improve muscular strength and endurance. Also, it allows you to improve on exercises, especially when you're doing it a multiple chunk of times. So for level of enjoyment, I'm gonna give this workout an overall score of six out of 10, mainly because of the repetition. And for level of difficulty, I'm gonna rate this workout a seven out of 10. While it did get me sore, it wasn't super difficult overall. So yeah, that was day number four. Now yesterday, it was really warm. As you guys saw in the previous clip, Today, it actually snowed. Yeah, if you guys can see through the window, it was snowing like crazy. And I don't know why, I still felt like making a cold smoothie bowl, which was weird. But I was craving it, so I, that's what I did. I had a lot of different toppings, granola, blueberries, and some almond butter per usual. It was so delicious, and even though it really didn't match the weather, it was still so, so good and refreshing. And then for a snack, I had this Quest bar, this time Oreo flavor while doing school. And then I had two dates for another snack. And for lunch, I had some salad, some mashed potato with some butter chicken. And then for dessert, I had this almond peanut butter cup. I don't wanna go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. I love starting and ending my week off with HIT, which means today I did Caroline's Hardcore HIT workout. This HIT was hardcore alrighty. It got me sweaty in a matter of minutes. And being an hour long, time flew by so quickly while doing this workout. And it honestly felt nowhere close to an hour. That's why I love Caroline's workouts. She makes them fun and so far from tedious. Caroline has become my favorite online personal trainer and I absolutely love her. She's so good at what she does and inspires everyone in every way possible. I also love how she promotes a non-restrictive way of eating. She's mentioned that she loves having Halo Top ice cream for dessert almost every single day and eats whatever she craves. I'm so sweaty. Holy. 
She said she never counts her calories or tracks macros and she doesn't go on any diet. She has become a role model in my life and I really do look up to her. She's a strong, dedicated and caring woman who is changing the lives of so many people. So for a level of enjoyment, I'm gonna rate this workout a 10 out of 10 and for level of difficulty, another 10 out of 10. This one was very tough. Such a great way to end off this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me do Caroline's workouts for a whole week. And long story short, yes, I 100% recommend Caroline's workouts. If you've been wanting to start her workouts but haven't for some reason, I am telling you to try them because as I always say, you won't regret it. Another key takeaway I hope you got from this video is you can 100% eat whatever you want and still be fit. It doesn't take some kind of strict diet to achieve your physique goals. It takes balance. Balance is the secret to health, fitness, and well-being. Stay tuned because I'm going to be filming a separate video on how to start your fitness journey in next week's video. You don't want to miss it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember, you are beautiful, intelligent, strong, and enough. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs>